Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam, and as you can tell, I got something wrong with me. So I went to the doctor today. I've been having a really bad sore throat all week, and they said I have tonsillitis. So I can't hardly talk. It hurts to talk. My sore, my throat is very sore. So I'm just making this very short for you. I'm not gonna show any viewer mail this week or photo challenge pictures or any of that kind of stuff. I do have a little bit of machine work that I'm gonna show with, share with you. There's some parts here that I made. <clears throat> and that's what is gonna be in this SNS. So uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to get back to the normal stuff, but I just don't feel like talking any more than I have to this week. I do have another uh, the next installment of the parking attachment. I've been doing some milling on that, so that'll be coming out after SMS. So I'll be looking for that. And uh, maybe next week I will throw up another shop talk. I wanted to this week, but I had a hard time talking, so <laughs> that's part of shop talk. So anyway, I hope you enjoy, and we'll see you soon, okay? Hey guys. I got a little project here that I'm going to do, uh, something for s, s So I got a I got a little wheel spacer that I need to make for my friend Rob for one of his motorcycles. Actually, I think it's the same motorcycle that the flywheel's going on that I just recently lightened. So it's a it's a front axle spacer, you know, for your. Uh, he's putting a different set of trees on it and uh, forks. So it's a different spacing in there. So he needs another different one made. It's going to be 50 millimeters wide. And of course we got our different ODs there. So quick little project. I'm going to use a piece of aluminum right here. We'll go over here to the Victor Lady and get one knocked out, okay? All right, I'm going to try this DNMG tool. This is that one that's got that positive cut action on it. It worked really good on some stainless and it works good on steel too. So I'm going to try it on this aluminum. It is already set up, so I'm just going to test it out. So pulled out one of my little metric rules here. <clears throat> Total length is going to be 50 mil. So I'll just set my tool. We'll go past that a little ways. All right. I'm going to set me an indicator stop. We got about 300 thousandths to come down off of it, so we'll just take some 100 thousandths passes. It's a pretty fast feed right there now. It's doing good though. This is T6 aluminum, by the way. doing good so we're going to take it down to 24 millimeters and you know I like to read an inch so I just convert it over we need to go to 0 0.945 so about 95 thousandths there Let's take one more rough cut Slow the feed rate down. See what it looks like like that. Looks good like there too, man. 
Okay, 951, so we got just six, six thousandths. All right, we hit our 945 mark there. So our next step, we're gonna go back 10 millimeter. <coughs> I'm gonna use my scale right here. I'm gonna go back 10 millimeter. Like I said, this, this isn't real critical stuff right here. So I just eyeball 10 millimeter. set a zero and then we're going to turn it down to 21 millimeter. That'll be 827 an inch. Eight forty one. Okay. 837, so 10,000s. <clears throat> All right, there's our 827. So what I'm going to do is put a chamfer or we'll do a like a bevel right here This is a CNMG insert, and that's the tool I'm using, MCHNN. All right, now we're just going to put a hole through it. I'll start with a little center drill, and we're going to use one of our new 12 millimeter drill bits. It's just a uh, 12 millimeter axle that goes through it. Got to drill the depth, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little deburr. Just use this uh, Noga right here. And we'll set up a tool and get it parted off. 
All right, so the part finishes 50 millimeters long, so we're just going to, it should part off nice and clean there. So I'll do a part and then file this corner. And then when I part it off, I'll use the uh, deburr tool. So I'm going to set my calipers at 50 millimeter. I'll just line up the tool like so until it touches. And I, I usually rock it like this. And again, this isn't a very critical part. If this was really critical, it had to be dead nuts on 50 millimeter, then I would part it a little bit long and do a second op where you chuck it and you face it to size. But this isn't that critical here. But I'm touching it there. I feel like I'm touching it, so I'm gonna leave it alone. I am gonna set me a zero just in case I have to move the tool for whatever reason. All right. <clears throat> that off right there and uh, we'll deburr it you know and on that end all you have to do if you want to clean that up some is rub it a little bit on some um, like 400 or 600 grit so sometimes on these ends like that when you part them off you can just take something like a file and do just like that see all right, take a Noga. And just deburr the end. And like I said, we'll go ahead and let me grab a little piece of that. Got a little wore out piece right here. And just dress that in a little bit. Not bad at all. Let me grab my calipers and see just how close I did get it. Okay, so maybe about a tenth over. Yeah, not too bad. That'll work. So actually, I've got five of these I need to make. He wanted five of them, but, you know, uh, I just wanted to show you how I make one. I'm going to come over here and knock out five more and give them to him. And he'll have him some wheel spacers. All right, guys, there they are. There's all five of them. Just a, a very simple short run, a little short production run there on the Victor lathe. And this will this will get Rob going for about five of the uh, the uh, front fork changes, so he'll be able to do five of these. And I'm sure he'll call me for some more later. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, just some simple machining over on the lathe. But sometimes it's the simple things that pay the bills. We'll see you guys later. Okay.